he dumped her. But no, not wet. He did anything that he could to get her to dump him. Because you know all this stuff. He's not for her. She deserves better than this crazy guy. Uh, he's just going through a rough patch. And one day she would meet a prince and they would get married. Yeah, the prince on his white charger and so on. It's a great plan for my barefoot Cinderella. Yesterday was an ordinary evening. After work, she went to his apartment. As usual, she was so enthusiastic and full of hope. She should have been worried from the doorway, because there were strangers in his apartment. I should say that for four months of the relationship, she's only known two of his friends. One is his ex, sometimes he's suffered because of her, and the second is from the category had sex, but let's stay friends. Well, she didn't know these two elements, but they were a nice couple. My owner was sure that it was a couple. She joined their conversation. In general, the evening was pleasant, until the moment when the couple said that they were going to stay the night with them. But we only have one bed. A sofa for a couple of weeks is broken. Oh, it's okay, they will sleep together. I'd be suspicious if I were her. Is it normal for four people to sleep together? She didn't come to a swimmer's party, she just went to her boyfriend. Hmm, maybe it was his secret plan. Then she told her boyfriend that she was confused by the proximity of two unfamiliar bodies in their bed. He immediately kept her calm. Don't worry, darling, this boy is okay, and the girl is just our common good friend. Do you think my owner was beginning to question his plan? His motive is clear anyway. Hmm, <laughs> maybe for me or for you, but my girl was so naive and foolish. The voice inside her head should have shouted, run, Lola, run. Mm -hmm. They went to bed and, of course, in the middle of the night, the truth out. The man isn't a gay, the woman isn't just a friend. But my owner did not want to be a part of this sexual game. So she was up at the clock of dawn and ran out barefoot, got a taxi and rushed home. Now she's sitting at home in pajamas and surfing on Amazon, choosing the best wine for a bad occasion. I feel sorry for her amazing Manolo Blenik. It was the best shoes for her graceful uncles. There is hardly such a motherfucker who return her Manolo Blenik. Girls, here is my view from below. I want to give you five big pieces of advice for a from a small dog. Cry and let it out, honey. Splash out your negative feelings and emotions. Don't keep them inside. Give yourself a chance to cut free of this mess. Call your friend, all the wine, send everything to hell. Turn the spate of your biography. How? Delete messages, delete his phone. You should not call him. Never, ever, ever call him. You remember his number by her? Wow, you are so cool. According to Kaspersky Lab, 50% of people don't remember the number of their beloved. So you're special. Know this. Don't get stuck in a memory. Take your mind off this. How? Did you want to buy that cool frog? Buy it. Buy it now. Did you want it to get a dog? Start it. You think we'll forget to feed a doggy? Mm -hmm. Well, buy a flower. It will be your first step on the way to a dog. Find a new hobby. Go in for sports, photography, dancing, but remember the option that the dog is about me. me. All this. You will find handsome guys at the dog park. I promise you this is real. Just let yourself process. Remember, you are the author of your life. And if you don't like what's happening, it's time for a change. I'm going to see how my owner is. Till then, today.